What's up guys? How are you? Are you doing okay? Are you having a good weekend? Yeah? Good. Well, it's Catherine and today's video is my Rafiki oil painting commission part one. So you may remember like a few weeks ago I was I did like a little Rafiki sketch uh, with cup Copic markers, but I didn't do values. I did colors and I just I hated it. So I kind of just abandoned the idea. And then I was meeting with my friend the other day, Cinco de Mayo, and um, he brought up the commission and he was like, I still want it. I'm like, oh, okay, great. Well, awesome. Let's, let's do it. So um, last Saturday, a week ago, he made a deposit on this painting and I started it um, the next day, and now I'm finally sat down to paint, and I think this was on, uh, on Wednesday, and I wanted to get it all done in one sitting, and I don't normally do that, but I wanted it for the video for Saturday, so I'm using grayscale to start, and I've actually mixed all those tubes on my own. If you want to watch that video, you can just go ahead and click top right over there, and, um, I'm doing grays because I get this question all the time, so I'll just mention it here. I'll probably mention it again later. I want to do a video about it, but grayscale. So if I were to just put color straight down on the white of the canvas, it will make my subject look really flat because um, oil paint is translucent. So light goes through the oil paint, bounces off the white of the canvas, and hits your eyes kind of dull, not dull, but just kind of washed out. So if you put these layers of value, <clears throat> excuse me, down first, then you put paint, colored paint on top of it, it bounces off your eyes, the light bounces off your eyes, into your eyes, sorry, and it feels a lot more like voluminous and it also, you know, kind of feels luminous. I know that sounds similar, but they mean different things. Um, anyway, so I mixed Galkid in with all of my, my pigments first just because I had less on the palette and I normally have like huge globs of paint on the palette and I only mix, mix a little bit at a time, but because I did all of those like tubes and I have them individual tubes now, like for those different values, I can bear to like mix all the, all the medium in because I use a dryer in Galkid is a is a dryer it's sort of like a mixture of like liquid and sand oil so sand oil like makes your brush strokes kind of flat like it flattens them and then uh the liquid is like the drying kind of shiny agent so a mixture of those in galkid and then if, if i left if i mixed it all with in with my paint it would like be dry like the next day and that would be so much to like waste but now that i'm like using less on the palette at a time i don't have to worry about that um so, when I'm applying values to the canvas, I'm, well, first thing I did was, like, I looked at the picture that I was, like, drawing this from, and then I chose, like, which areas were, like, the widest areas and darkest areas and, like, everything in between. I marked them, I put numbers on them, so, like, <laughs> literally paint by numbers, but, I mean, I made it just easier for myself. I do this all the time. Um, it, like, just eliminates so much guesswork in the actual, like, painting, and then I'm not putting, like, two values of the same value like right next to each other and it, it's uh, anyway because I don't want to do that even if they are similar in value like if I don't want to put a three next to a three because it will just make a big like a larger section and I want to keep them separate so I'll probably just make one a two or one a four you know so they're not the same and um yeah so I'm starting with the lighter ones first so that like if I I don't if I cross contaminate one of the, like the other colors with that the one that I'm working like the section that I'm working on, it's a lot easier to like mix a lighter color into something darker and like kind of like make it go away. It's a lot harder to like mix black into like something white. So that's another reason why I do all the numbering so that I can like do all of the whites first and then all of the blacks last. So I don't, I'm not mixing that mixing them together on accident. So yeah, and then I'm working on my table because I had another painting on the wall and I just, I thought it'd be cool to like put the tripod above the canvas and then work on that instead of like having it like angled sort of like, and yeah, no, this was easier, but I had to use the palette box as like, um, 
a rest for my arm because I pretty much had to keep my arm off the canvas like the entire time. <laughs> so I could have started at the top left and gone through, but I've already explained why I don't do that. So I'm not going to tell you. Anyway, this was like five hours of working time and I cut it down to like 10 minutes and it was really mostly a lot of times I'll like cut out a lot of times where I'm like watching TV or whatever and kind of just like wow I'm just literally holding a brush I'm not even doing anything nope mm -mm, not this time it was like straight work that I was like it was really easy to edit it actually so anyway hmm what else can I say um yeah, so also like the whole thing I forced myself to do for five hours because I was just like, oh, I, w I would like to not sit for that long. But um, I mean, I was there the entire day. I just recorded for five hours. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, um, I'm on summer break right now from school and I have this painting to work on plus another one that I just like want to work on. So and then uh, as well as like editing videos and making videos for you guys. So I have to manage my time and I did that in school, but like it was different that I was just like, okay, well, I'll just work on this a little bit today. However long I want to work on it, no big deal. Now it's like, I'm going to work on something for four hours today, stop after four hours and then work on something else. So I'm like a lot better at like managing that time and stuff. But now I want to, I'm getting closer to the end. So I sort of just want to like go into something new and kind of different for me. So I'm about to hit 2000 followers on Instagram. I'm sort of halfway to 500 on here and I was going to wait to until I had 500 subscribers on YouTube before I like did a um a giveaway but I already got the stuff <laughs> so um with my deposit like I said I have now most of the stuff for my giveaway um I'm gonna be doing an art haul and which will have all the stuff for the giveaway and you'll see that and then I'm actually going to be using it sorry, <laughs> for a video. So I'll have that and both of those. So like you have to like watch both of those in order to find out how to enter the giveaway. I just wanted to mention that, um, go on the go for it so that you know, like to look out for that or whatever. I'm not going to say what it is just yet. You'll find out if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know. Um, or if you came from there, whatever. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say. This is a real life Rafiki. Um, it's like the baboon from the Lion King, but it's like the, a real picture of the, a baboon. And yeah, so it's a really long landscape painting. It's like mm, 24 by like 54. So this is just like the far left side of it. And the rest is going to be, you know, mostly grayscale too, but it'll have like, you know, African plains and like trees and like other things that are like Lion King-ish and African-ish. So I'll have more videos about that. Like I wasn't going to do a video about this entire thing until then, but until I finished it, but I thought it would be a good part to have like it all broken up so you can kind of learn more about the process instead of just like, oh, here's a, here's the painting in fast motion as fast as possible, but no. So here is just how it looks now at the end. Um, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say about it. I'll just see you guys in the next video. I make a video every Wednesday and every Saturday and be looking forward to that giveaway. Thanks so much for watching. Love you. Bye.